Hi everyone, it's Luann Midgley from Tell You Story Videos and this is Shop Time, where I take you for a tour in a store. Today we're going to visit Coastal Bookstore in Newport Village. Let's go. Hello, how are you? <laughs> I'm great, thanks. Hi everyone, this is Danica Sommerfeld from Coastal Bookstore, and she's going to be taking me for a tour of her store. Uh, welcome, <laughs> thanks for coming. Um, so we're a bookstore in Newport Village, and uh, we just actually moved into this space a couple of months ago, and it's about three times the size of our old space, so we're still filling up. Um, we have books, they're all new books. We don't oh. carry used books, that's... Um, kind of different for an indie bookstore. Um, and they're also very carefully selected. Um, a lot of people, especially if they don't read a ton, can be nervous about, you know, there's just such an overwhelming choice. So we make sure they're all really good books and um, there's a lot of Canadian content and diverse content. So that's Aww. important to us. I love that. That's, that's a big uh, mission of your store, I believe. It is, yes. And we actually carry, this is kind of new for our current location is we have a lot of local art. So um, these are paintings, uh, like original paintings from people who live right here in the Tri-Cities. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. And I know this artist, this is Kathleen Tennant. That's right, <laughs> yes. Um, we have some kind of fun um, nerdy shirts and <laughs> tote bags and things like that. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, your store, uh, your shop, your store, your bookstore keeps changing, Danica. Every time I come in here, it is, it's bigger and bigger, and yeah. you're really adding to it these days. I'm trying. <laughs> yes. um, yeah, we have lots of puzzles. Puzzles made a huge uh, comeback in the pandemic, of course, so we try to have some original ones. Actually, some of those ones over there I brought all the way from Australia, so you wouldn't find them anywhere else except here. Oh, wow. Um, all of our cards are also local artists, with the exception of these book cards. Um, I just couldn't resist them, so I ordered them up in the States. <laughs> oh, there's so many different um, creative artisans in our community, don't you find? It's... Oh yeah, it's amazing. Oops, sorry. Um, these mugs are made by local potters. They actually both had their art um, sorry, some of their work at an art show at the Port Moody Art Center. Like, I think it ended last week, so if you were there seeing that, you can get some of their things here. Those are sweet. There's more coming. And lots of different books here. What's on this shelf right here? Um, this On this side on the left, it's all the cookbooks. And then this one's a little more random. We've got some um, books about alcohol. We've got um, books about food that aren't necessarily cookbooks. Hmm. This is a memoir um, written by a chef. And then this is um, a book. We have two book clubs starting this month. We have a business book club. This is the first book for that one. And we have a literary book club too. Oh, wow. That'll be excellent. Yeah, you can register online for both of those things. Online, okay. And so you're studying the the business book is going to be uh, like a study. Is that how that's working? Yeah. So the business book club is you don't commit like every single month. You commit for the book, and this book we're going to do over three months. So April, May, June, third Wednesday of the month. In the okay. Evening. Great. And little kids section. Ah, uh, let's see these. Ah, uh, such sweet books. And so beautifully illustrated. I kind of miss doing the whole reading with my kids. They're super, you know, they're like almost 20 and 18 now. So <laughs> yeah, same with you, right? Yeah, it's like that time of our lives is kind of over, but um, it must be sweet for you to, to look at all those types of books again here. And then you got puzzles and everything for them as well. Ah, actually, all three of these are local authors. Oh, um, this one was written by a girl, I think she's 13, and that's her on the cover, actually. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> yeah. really great. Oh, sweet. Oh, it's so nice to have local authors here. Yeah. Oh, isn't that neat? Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, we just got these in, and I'm already running low on them. This is another local artist. Just got these in last week. Her name is Darlene, and her she has a little a business called Nautical Keeps. Oh, those are cute. Little... Oh my goodness. Yeah. How creative. <laughs> and so this is all just different things she finds, like on the beach and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so cute, right? Yes. And we have chocolate. We have um, over forty flavors now. They're all Canadian artisan chocolate. Um, maybe about half is made here in BC and the rest is uh, we have some all the way from New Brunswick and these postcard chocolate bars are from Ottawa actually. So you can put a stamp on them and send them anywhere in Canada. And they're fun flavors like this one is um, milk chocolate with potato chips in it and some of them are dark chocolate, some of them are milk chocolate. This one has ramen. Oh, ramen? Yeah, ramen. <laughs> This one is one of the newest ones. It's called Tropical Heat Wave and it's got dried fruit, but also some chili spice. Oh, wow. It's great. What a great idea just to send it in the mail. <laughs> and other things to send in the mail, these are brand new. I just got them from the UK. They're called pigeons. It's kind of, the idea is to like, just have fun with mail. So it's a piece of paper and you write your letter you fold it up and you just close it with a stamp and you can send it in like that. So there's six in a pack. They're all like on a theme, but they're all different. Oh, yeah. where did you hear about this? This is incredible. I stumbled um, across it on Instagram. Oh. <laughs> Which is how I found some of the local artists as well. <laughs> Instagram's great for that. <laughs> it's quite the community. <laughs> oh, okay. So uh, back to letter writing. Do you think that could come back? These have been really popular actually. I ordered a certain amount and I like I just put them in our system last week and they've been really popular. I think I'm gonna have to reorder sooner than I anticipated. <laughs> I should have made a bigger order. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a good test anyway, and now yeah. you know. Yeah. So do you have sales every now and then, Danica? And, uh, or uh, are, do you have memberships in, in clubs and stuff, book clubs, that people can get some discounts sometimes if they order just so many books with you or anything, anything like that? Um, yeah, I do occasionally do like just a sale, like usually announced on Instagram and the newsletter, and those are kind of random. Um, but on a regular basis, we have coastal bookstore points, and those are just associated with your email address. So whether you purchase in store or online, you accumulate points and then can use them for store credit. Oh, great. And if you put your, if you register online and fill out your profile and put your birthday in, you'll get a $10 gift card on your birthday too. Oh, love it. <laughs> we do a monthly book subscription. Oh. Actually, we do a monthly post uh, postcard chocolate bar subscription too. Um, I send a chocolate bar in the mail every month to a couple of people, so that's fun. Oh, neat. <laughs> and uh, so the monthly book subscriptions, you can register online and they're personalized. Mm. We're small enough that it's not just the same book going out to everybody. We kind of take into account what they like, what they've read in the past, you know, what they're in the mood for. We send those out and you can just pay on a month to month basis and it includes shipping. Or if you pay like three months ahead or six months ahead or a year, you get discounts. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So that's fun. It's a nice gift. Mm hmm. That certainly is. You've, you've thought of everything here. Um, and, and what, uh, uh, the last time that you had and I had a big, big, long chat was uh, on your on the podcast episode for Shop Talk, yes. and um, and you were still at the other place uh, on uh, Austin, yeah. and um, that was eight months ago, and a lot has changed. Uh, you were looking at uh, a space in Newport Village, and uh, here here you are. I mean, this is this is amazing, Danica. What what a beautiful story you have, and and thriving and uh and yeah but it is a different spot for it sure it is a different spot it's mm -hmm. a really great neighborhood there's so much here and the other shop owners are really amazing it's like i really just love the community yeah and what's what's been popular what's been flying off your shelf lately or or do you see a lot of eyeballs on something are really there was a big memoir phase for a while that mm. also seems to be slowing down um people are kind of liking um genre fiction right now like romance and um, mm. mystery and things like that and of course Canada Reads just happened so um, we I actually I think I'm mostly out of all of the Canada Reads stuff now but that I was selling a ton of those titles for a while there's always like awards happening so people are curious about what's going on 
I try to have a good mix of like what's popular and what people are looking for, but I also try to bring in things that aren't getting a lot of, like you don't see them around, but they're winning awards or they're just getting really amazing reviews, but they sort of fly under the radar. So it's kind of nice to have those surprises if you're just looking for something that you don't, you know, sometimes you see the same book everywhere. Like, right. Yeah. All the bookstores and then the grocery store and then Costco. <laughs> <laughs> so, and it's the same thing everywhere. So I try to balance that out a balance bit. Balance it. Yes. Yeah. Oh, well, you know, I love a bookstore to, to peruse. So after this, I can't wait to take a nice long look at all your books and purchase another one because I'm due. I'm overdue. So, so lots of artists on display. Yes. Um, you're now into uh, t-shirts, I see. Um, those are pretty cool. Yeah. Speaking of local artists, um, this brand is a local teenager oh. who has her own um, business. She makes these t-shirts and some of the tote bags over there she makes as well. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is uh, we've got a bit of a writing community here too. I'm a writer um, and we have writers boot camps on Saturday mornings uh, a couple times a year. They're like a six week thing. We're doing our third one ever right now and they've been a lot of fun. And so we're going to keep doing that. The next one is already available. You can register online. It's for September though. Well, thank you so much for the tour. Thanks I really everyone. appreciate it. Thank you. So there you go. Thanks, Danica, for the tour of your bookstore. Lots of fantastic books in there. Lots of great local artists on display, as well as uh, delicious chocolate to send to your loved ones. Lots of great uh, puzzles in there as well, but mainly lots of wonderful books uh, for anyone of all ages. So come and enjoy Coastal Bookstore and see you on the next tour.